Peter Paul Rubens, considered the most influential artist of the Flemish Baroque tradition, has completed a masterpiece over a long period of time. He went out for a walk for a while to relieve his fatigue. In the meantime, his apprentices flocked to the atelier to see the painting. However, a apprentice was pushed over and fell, which caused the painting to fall. They didn't know what to do with fur and embarrassment that the precious teacher's painting had been ruined. At that time, one of the apprentices held a brush and began to modify the damaged part of the painting. After a walk, Rubens returned to the atelier and saw this sight. However, he only looked at the apprentice modifying his painting without saying a word. Soon after the modification, the apprentice was nervous and prepared for the teacher's rebuke. Then Rubens told the apprentice, You've modified my painting for the better. This apprentice, who modified the painting of his teacher Peter Paul Rubens, is Anthony van Dyck, a Flemish Baroque artist who became the leading court painter in England. This story shows the typical example of a great teacher. Great teachers teaches attitude at first, then wisdom, and finally knowledge. Thank you.